swore to myself that I was going to make more of these videos with like makeup on and you know, not in my PJs, but ah, it's not going to happen. I just, when I am moved by the spirit to talk to you, I'm going for it. And if I happen to look like this, deal with it. Deal with it, okay? So, I am um, a self-help book addict. And um, I'm not ashamed of it because I just, I get so much inspiration from so many different writers. And like, I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins. Sorry, that's a cat toy. <laughs> Um, and I love Tony Robbins and I particularly love Tony Robbins and by the way Tony Robbins but I read all kinds of stuff I like uh, Carolyn Miss and um, you know can't think of anybody else right now because I'm making a video so uh, but occasionally out of nowhere something will come up and 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 it'll just be like and that happened you know, over a decade ago when The Secret came out. It's just the way that that, the movie was actually what got me. It's the way that the movie was presented that just like blew my mind. Do I have mascara all over my face? I don't even know. I don't think so. And then I subsequently got the audio book uh, with, well, I guess audio of the movie with all of the teachers. And I think it was just putting together all of those teachers that, you know, just, I don't know, it shifted a bunch of things in me and and confirmed things that I already knew and it, and it helped me to build some healthier habits along my, my journey here in life. But there hasn't been one since then that has really just exploded for me. So I was on I was on Amazon a few weeks ago and this came up in my my um you know in your suggestions and it's a planner you know like a planner but it's called what will what i will do to feel the way i want to feel so this is pretty it's blue and you know, so i read about it and it's basically a planner but because see i like to do like i like to write things down i like to do like goal setting but not necessarily goal setting but more like intention planning and i do because I, a lot of tony robbins i do understand that the ultimate goal for for any thing is is what you're really trying to accomplish is a feeling so if you're trying to make money you're not really trying to make money there's something, there's a feeling behind that money, whatever that represents to you. To some people, it represents um, respect. To some people, it represents security, freedom. So it's really, you know, it's emotional. And so I really, really, I opened this up and I, I started flipping through it and I was like, this is really, really cool. And then it, it says in the beginning that, you know, you don't, you didn't have to read the book, The Desire Map, because this is the desire map planner is what it is. It says, oh, well, you didn't have to read that to, you know, to, to use this awesome planner. And this, by the way, is for 2018. Um, so I was like, well, let me go read about that desire map book. And I read a little bit about the author, Danielle Laporte. Laporte, I might be mispronouncing it, sorry. And I fell in love just reading about her and going on her website and just the things that she says and the way that she says them she's just so brazen and like just open and 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 just very real she's very very real so i bought the book the desire map okay so it's this the desire map a guide to creating goals with soul i started reading the book thursday Today is Sunday. I'm halfway through the book and I have spent all day today with the book. I cannot even begin to, my gratitude for the last three days has started with thank you for this book and for Danielle. And for Amazon throwing Danielle in my path at a time when I really, really needed it. And you know, you could probably tell because I started this channel, I'm, I'm I'm on 
I'm on some sort of a quest, some sort of a journey here. I'm changing some things and I'm going through changes. And I needed to do a lot of introspection. I was contemplating, you know, uh, going to a monastery for a silent retreat weekend, um, just checking myself into a hotel room for a weekend and, and just doing my own sort of silent retreat or whatever. But then this book showed up and I, I am writing, see, I, this is why I don't take books out of the library. I'm writing all, I mean, like pretty much every page in this book has like scribbles, all that. I, I write all in the margins. I underline stuff. Um, I just, I have to just, that's how I process what I'm reading as I'm reading it and it, and it, and it speaks to something that's like currently going on in my life. I write on, you know, in the margin, like, oh my gosh, that's like, so like whatever right now, or ideas or thoughts and and um it, it's just i can't i i i i just i i i i almost didn't make this video right now because i didn't want to stop reading the book and bill's going to be home soon and then he's going to watch the golf and it won't be the same as sitting quietly in my living room with the book the book i keep calling it the book the desire map a guide to creating goals with soul i I'm so excited about this and I feel so good. Um, I just can feel my stomach is making noises and I don't think you can hear them, but I can. I just feel so, I feel everything shifting inside. And I probably would have been able to make things shift around with one of the other methods that I mentioned, a silent retreat or just taking a weekend away on my own to do some journaling and processing. But this works too and I'm really, really, really enjoying it and just she's so wonderfully irreverent and real. I just, I, I just really, um, yeah. I just, and, and this, this, this quote right here, the cosmos doesn't measure sweat and hours for reward. And so she's talking about, you know, working harder or pushing. And I am a pusher. I'm a huge pusher. I push myself too much as you have all learned about me. And, um, and, and there's actually, it's, it's, I'm actually getting an inverse return on the push. And so lately, the past, um, well, like over this summer, I've been letting go and pushing less. And just the results of pretty much everything have been better. So, yeah, it's so cool. I'm just really, really loving on this book. So this is a rambling video telling you that if you are trying to make some changes in your life, if you think you need to make some changes, but you don't know what they are, if you are a person who always sets goals for themselves, but then either ends up stressed out by your goals or feeling defeated by your goals, because I, I, what have, I was always a goal setting kind of person for all of the areas of my life and and, and that's not bad, uh, but, but it, it, well, okay, but it can be bad. It can actually become a really negative thing for you and create a, create a lot of stress for you. And that's kind of not the whole, or it's the whole point of setting goals to like have an outcome that's good, isn't it? So this book talks a lot about, uh, this speaks very much to people who are goal setters. And if you're not a goal setter, well, that's good because you really don't have to set any goals. <laughs> You're not supposed to be setting goals. <laughs> You're supposed to be uh, setting, you know, how you want to feel, not like, you know, I want a hundred thousand subscribers, you know. And and with starting this channel, you know, I was like, I said in one of the videos, you know, oh, like subscribe and stuff because I care about numbers. But I realized that I don't really care. I haven't even looked at the numbers because what feels good is what I'm doing right now just talking to the camera and knowing that somebody out there on the other end might listen. That feels really good. 
and it feels like I'm I'm fulfilling part of my life purpose by speaking and and I haven't been speaking this for a really long time and I and I know that part of what I'm supposed to do on this planet is to speak to people like this not necessarily on video I mean but just to speak to speak my truth to to try to inspire people to try to motivate people that's God gave me a gift and I'm supposed to be using it and so now I'm using it and it feels really good and you know what I don't I don't care if people subscribe. I don't care if people give me thumbs up or whatever. Um, I just, it's the, it's the doing. It's not the goal that matters. It's, it's, it's how I feel every time I sit in front of the camera. So, yeah. So I'm like a really happy camper. And now I really want to go back to my book. Because I like, got like this much left. And I can probably get through it today. Uh, so anyway, it was the, the, the book is The Desire Map, A Guide to Creating Goals with Soul. I will put a link down below in the description. You can get it on uh, Danielle's website, which I will link you to, and I'll also give you the link to Amazon. Um, the book is cheaper on Amazon, and I, I, I don't understand why. But I'll give you both links because Danielle's website is just like really, really cool. And um, anyway, so thank you so much for listening to me. And I'm going to go back to, uh, to making my life as awesome as I want it to be.